Nestled in the upstairs of Sturgeon River Pottery in Petoskey is Little Traverse Tile Works. For hometown tourists, David Lydon and Air Malone take you there to check out Cora Smith and her team's tile making process. I got an internship working here, was put in charge of making the tiles. At that point, there was only one tile to be made. Cora Smith's love for the handcrafted was sculpted years ago. And when she started at Sturgeon River Pottery, her love for the ceramic arts took hold and now has blossomed into a full-blown tile-making business, Little Traverse Tile Works. We do kind of everything from custom tiles. Uh, if someone brings in a drawing and wants to do a tile from that or, you know, family crest, we get some crazy requests and it's super awesome to see someone brings, you know, a design in and says, can you make a tile? And we say, yeah, absolutely. They specialize in a beautiful array of pieces from backsplashes to architectural field tiles that tessellate, or in other words, use geometric shapes to form a pattern. You'll find house addresses and maps of lakes or logos and cars. They do it all. Many of their decorative tiles honor the love of life in northern Michigan and nature. Check out this Mackinac Bridge tile on a piece of grating from the bridge. The actual grating that you drive over and we have been attaching our four inch Mackinac Bridge tiles to them, which has been a really unique thing. People are welcome to come in and see Cora and her team in their process. It all starts with carving or sculpting tiles. We hand press all of our tiles into the mold using a big wood mallet. Then they sit for an hour depending on humidity. And then they are able to be popped out and we just kind of flip the mold over and pop it right out. The tiles dry overnight and then get sanded and dry again for about two weeks and then they're fired. Our first firing, which is called a bisque firing, fires about 1700 degrees. We'll apply glaze at that time. First we wax the backs of everything and then put glaze on them and then put them back in the kiln for a second time. And the second firing is about 2200 degrees. And then when we open the kiln, we cross our fingers, they're ready, <laughs> ready to go downstairs and, or go sh get shipped out to the customer or wherever they're destined to go. At the end of the day, it's a love for the handcrafted, a joy to witness, and you'll even get to meet Dilly, the studio Dalmatian, who will welcome you with a wag of the tail. I think that what people like about having tile is it resonates with them somewhere. You know, they appreciate the fact that it's handmade. For Hometown Tourist in Petoskey, I'm David Lydon.